So, describe your relationship to Philip. Um, well, I met Philip through an arts project and um, we met in London uh, to do this arts project and then I never saw him again. So, explain the project. Um, well, it was a collaborative uh, project involving uh, all different European artists. And the idea is that we built the project like, while uh, everyone was in London. Um, so that's what we did, but we never actually got to do it. Right. So you spent the last known day of, of Philip being in London. Um, you were possibly one of the last people to see him alive. Uh, can you describe that day and, and how he was? He was really upbeat. Um, we had a really great day. He, well, he was being a bit strange on the walk to the Serpentine. He was talking about um, we both been to India, and he was saying about how he wanted to be a monk uh, and live in India. At the time, I didn't think about anything of it. But looking back now. I think maybe that's what happened. He followed his dream and went to India. I can only I can only assume that because he wasn't unreliable. He was a very enthusiastic, passionate guy. Uh, I had uh, I trusted him to come through with the project, and he he's just gone. So I can only assume maybe he was inspired by our conversation and he left. Two years ago, I met Philip. Uh, in a reggae bar and uh, we we started getting talking and we then moved, uh, I invited him back to mine, uh, my squat where my, my crack then um, and we met some friends, uh, some of mine and he seems to get on really well with them and uh, we decided to go for a walk but uh, we got lost and obviously Philip's only been here for a, Philip was only there for a day and I'd only recently moved from Singapore and uh, yeah, we started going for a walk, and we we sort of started turning down some dark alleys, and uh, um, so we were totally lost. And I bumped into some other people that I knew from Singapore, as I worked for a major crime boss, and and then the uh, the the people that we bumped into were associates of uh, a rival crime boss, and I still owed them a lot of money after I done them over to the police and uh, killed two of their brothers. They wanted to, um, so we all started, they started getting quite um, aggravated and uh, me and Philip had been really getting on because we were talking a lot about his philosophies about life and uh, his non-violent ways and he'd been uh, gone, to, he was going to go to India and become a monk and start a new religion, which I was going to become part of. And because he was, uh, because we got, were getting on, he was so loyal. And uh, as as someone to, that someone that I'd like to work with, because he was he was such a, a trusting, loyal, and uh, really interesting guy. But these uh, these Singapore gangsters uh, turned quite nasty, and all of my uh, friends at the time ran, and it was only me and Philip, and Philip bravely fought off all of the, the gangsters until the major crime boss came and descended upon us from his helicopter and that's when I managed to escape in the confusion but Philip was a brave, brave man for standing up for me and that was the last I saw of him uh, being bundled into the helicopter. I'm sitting here on that river, very rainy day, that reminds me a lot of the, the time Philip and I had when we last met in London two years ago. It was pretty much the same damn weather all day long, raining. Well, looking back, it probably fit the, the whole situation with its quite sad mood.
I've never heard anything of him again. Uh, we had a quite good time before. Did a lot of reggae projects, collaborated and a couple of good things. I quite remember the time we were going to Jamaica together. Uh, that was fun. Then, working in this art project in London, uh, we met some really nice guys from all around Europe. We thought we'd come up with a really great, great movie or something, but then all of a sudden, the next day, he didn't show up completely against his habits. He was always a very reliable person. You could really trust in him. Uh, I don't think it was because of the misunderstanding of time that we never met again. Uh, clearly we waited long enough for him to show up, but I've got no idea what happened. Would be fun to know what what he's doing now. Hope nothing serious occurred. Uh, working on the case of uh, Philip's disappearance, along with some others, would you like to talk about your investigations? Well, Philip's, Philip's disappearance is just one of a number that I've been looking at as part of my research into disappearances. Um, there's, been, there's been quite a number of them, and they're increasing in both frequency and and strangeness since the late 60s. Um, Donald Crowhurst disappeared without a trace whilst um, sailing in the Atlantic, just as Bastianada did, trying to get home from New York. Um, both the boats were found washed just, just out at sea, no one on. Um, Madeleine McCann, just another famous person, just disappeared. Famous for disappearing, not really for anything else. Um, and also, have you noticed how your socks just disappear? Um, certain tramps and um, Prince Charles's dignity, they're all gone. Um, so that's why I'm, um, I've been writing this paper. It's called, um, it's called Strange Disappearances in Cities and Seas. And it'll be out in June. Magritte, you are Philip's wife. Oui. And you haven't seen your husband for, is it coming up to two years now? Yes, it's uh, two years since I see him. He, he went for a collaborative project and uh, he never came. He never what, came back. What, did he do lots of collaborative projects? Yes, he was a very good artist, uh, reliable, honest, hardworking. Hmm. But I, I never see him again. Do, do, do you think what he might be up to or where he is? Do you know what he's up to? Well, he, he could be dead. C'est la mort, no? Or he could be with one of those English women. You know, he liked the women. He, 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 that sounds a bit strange because he, he's, he mentioned becoming a monk to lots of people in his last collaborative project. Do you? No, he's a liar. Hmm. He... He believed in God for, you know, a week, two weeks, but um, he didn't like it, so he said, C'est fini. Hmm. No more God. Do you, do you miss him? I miss him. I, I miss him a lot. I, I think about him every day. I've, uh, I've actually gone completely crazy, completely cuckoo. How are his children? Because you had two two kids with him, didn't you? Yes, uh, a two 
two children, a boy and a girl. Um, but uh, I can't see them anymore because uh, I'm mad. Do, do they remind you of him too much? Or? Yes, you know, same eyes, same nose, same goatee, same... Uh, and they're musicians, aren't they? They're... They both play bongo. And, um, do, do you like reggae as well? Did I'm sorry, I'm getting emotional now. You know, he was my husband. He's gone. The children play the bongo and uh, they drum his name. Philip. Philip. Great, thank you very much from the green. Oh yeah, it was the an exhibition entitled uh, Mirror on the Children by some Michel Angelo, as an Italian artist. Uh, and for, for what I see from this exhibition is definitely...